Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today I'm joined by Ross from Lima Mar, which is the Peruvian restaurant here in downtown Rockford. How's it going, Ross? Pretty good. How you doing? Doing great, man. Thank you so much for having me. So I stopped by last week to talk to you guys about your restaurants and lo and behold, there's like a lot of history and culture like baked into this place. So uh, I wanted to kind of take everyone on a little tour of your restaurant and talk about like Peru. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So I don't know much about it. So I guess uh, kind of give me the high level and what was the inspiration for Lima Mar? The inspiration for the decor of Lima Mar actually stemmed off of this painting that you see right here. We saw this painting. We knew we were going to open a restaurant. Yeah. But we saw this painting and my wife, who was an interior designer before she became a chef, um, saw this painting and said, wow, these colors and aspects of this painting would make a great restaurant. So that's where we started with the design feature. Nice. And um, there is so much like thought and culture and even rocker baked in, right? So absolutely. Let's go on a little tour. Um, so right here we have the bar uh, and there is this giant track, right? Like looks like jade almost coming down the center of the bar. Tell me a little bit about the story behind that. Well, this bar is actually the river. I put the live edge in the center and the river represents the Amazon River, which we share with Peru. I mean, Peru shares with Brazil. Mm -hmm. And with this, we want to incorporate some Rockford features. So this is all ash from ash borer and it's Rockford, yeah. source from Rockford. And talking to uh, you and your wife, you said that it was the jungle, this, the ocean, and the mountains that really define Peru in a great yes, sense. Yes, there are three major regions that also co uh, coincides with the cuisine. There is the Amazon region, there is the Andes region, which you'll find a lot of potatoes and stuff. Yep. And then you have the ocean side, which you will find a lot of the seafood. Nice. And so like this here with the bar top represents the Amazon. And over here, the behind the bar represents the ocean, right? Absolutely. Over here, you'll see, you know, it has a little um, different ocean decor. The center column is plaster and as you'll see in this restaurant there's a lot of plastering my family's a very old plastering family from this area nice so there's plaster work like all over the place <laughs> all over the place um, and, and then even the lighting like to back out and even the lighting is is inspired by the ocean absolutely the lights here we chose these lights because they kind of look like sea urchins yeah super fun um, and so it's, but the bar isn't just for looks. Uh, there's some real signature drinks that come out of Peru as Abs well. Absolutely. In Peru, we have a type of alcohol that's called Pisco. Okay. And you told me earlier that Wikipedia and Google are wrong. Right. It's which not, that blew my mind. Cause like, I mean, really, it's Google. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. It is not a brandy because brandies you typically have to bring up to 155 proof okay. and then water it down. So you got to add alcohol and you got to add water usually. Usually. And um, in pisco making, you do not do that. That is barrel proof right after the making of pisco. Both could be made out of wine. Pisco is made out of wine. Yep. It's distilled wine. And out of that, there's eight different grapes of pisco that can be made. And you carry all eight, eight grapes here. Yeah, we so, represent every a little bit of every one of them. So nice. And then the other thing that really uh, raised an eyebrow of mine was corn juice. Yes, is a thing. <laughs> Being we, from Illinois, you would think we would know about corn juice, but actually, yes. And I have an example of that purple corn. Give me one second. <laughs> yep. And right here is a sample of the Peruvian corn that is imported from Peru and we make an actual juice out of this. Okay. And we'll make it, we'll boil it for hours and then we'll reboil it with pineapple, apples, cinnamon, cloves. Yeah, it's very sweet. It's very, very good. Yeah, it's very good. 
So fantastic. Well, here along the bar, right, we have, so you can get your corn juice, you can get your Pisco cocktails. Uh, and then back over here is, in the back is where all the magic happens, right? Yeah. So this back is, is the kitchen. The back is where Chef Rosanna, that's your cue. Hi. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Grand reveal! Yeah. Okay, so the magic happened is true. Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what is Peruvian cuisine. It's a fusion of three different cultures, Japan, China, and Spain, merging in one. What we do is we take the techniques, ingredients, and uh, put it with our Peruvian ingredients, and we make it our own cuisine. So Peruvian cuisine have uh, three different regions. It have the coast, the website and the jungle. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna come with a new menu and it's gonna be part of a little bit of the three different regions. We are vegan ocean and we have big ocean, we have a vegan seafood and now uh, it's gonna be represented pretty much our country. And now we're coming with more ideas for you. That's fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, and I've been, you know, like I'm dropping in pictures here so people can see it because a picture is worth a thousand words, um, but it all looks really, really good. Thank so, you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so and, plating is important too for us. And uh, we are produced with vegan colors. We have color for everything and our platings and the plate represent about Peru as well. Yeah, and, well, and you were a graphic designer before you became a yes, chef. Yes, I was. I yeah, was, so I pretty was. things matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. And to continue on our tour, thank you so much, Chef You're Rosanna. Welcome. Appreciate it. Uh, and we have a line of bowls. Yes, there's actually there's actually one more color, but it didn't fit in the space. But the bowls represent different things in uh, Peru culture. You'll find it a lot in Cusco, on the houses of Cusco. And they bring fortune, luck all those different things when you face them on the corners of your house. Nice. And then the last major feature, but really like the first ones that people see when they first walk in the door are the wall of llamas and the giant masks. <laughs> well, the wall of llamas, there's um, one place that's one of the seven wonders called Machu Picchu and of course Cusco. And in that area, they have a lot of it's up in the Andes Mountains, so you have the mountains, but also they have a lot of stone uh, features in their buildings and in their architecture. And so this was sort of to represent that. And also you see here, you'll see the Andes and the llamas climbing up the Andes. Nice. I love that. I love like the little details and like the backlighting, how it's changing color and yeah, super cool. Uh, and then tell me about these masks. Now these masks are actual masks, they are original. They came from Puno, and in Puno, they have a dance called the Cantilever. And that is giving back to Mother Earth. And after, after one of their festivals, they retired these masks and we bought them and brought them here. Very cool. So, I mean, it's a lot to take in, right? <laughs> There's so Absolutely. many little details. Like I've been in here a few times now and I feel like every time I walk in, like I'm seeing something different, right? Whether it's Learning the something new. plaster work. And I really appreciate the fact that you have these little like placards on the walls to describe and, you know, teach us a little bit of something about Peruvian culture, which, you know, is something that I knew basically nothing about before I walked into your restaurant. So absolutely appreciate that. We like to feel that we are the ambassadors of Peru to Rockford. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, guys, for bringing this lovely addition to downtown. Uh, your place is amazing. And so big props to you. Um, how can people support you? I mean, I know th times are a little different, but like what can people do to help support you and make sure that you guys uh, stay here downtown? Well, I, I would say dining is big. If you aren't comfortable with dining, we do carry out and on weekends we're doing delivery five to seven. Uh, we are bringing a new menu and a few other items. So placing orders is great. 
Awesome. Fantastic. And of course, follow you guys on all the social media stuff as well. But thanks again, Ross. I really appreciate it. And Chef Rosanna too. Um, big shout out to all of our uh, business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. Uh, it's because of their support that I'm able to bring you uh, little video highlight tours of our local businesses right here in Rockford for free through the power of the internet. Uh, so big thanks, Rockford, for tuning in. And we'll see you on the flip side. Bye. <laughs>